Jan uh, 31st, Jan 31, and then I'm not gonna have any item. Uh, we're gonna say description, I'll say payroll, and it's going to be then the amount of the 4583.33, that's gonna go to payroll expense. So payroll tax, payroll wages, uh, payable. Uh, where's the, we don't just have payroll expense. Wait, maybe they called it wages. Wages and salaries. There we have it. Let's put it into that one. I'll use the account that they provided us with. And that's going to be for the 4583. And then we're going to have pay, payroll liability. So I'm going to say one. That's going to be... Uh, I'm pulling this numbers over here. Payroll 101063. So negative 101063 bringing the amount down and this is going to be payroll this is going to be payroll wages payable payroll taxes expense federal payroll liability let's do that one that looks good and then the others and then we're also going to have and then the net check is going to be the three five seven two so if i look at this uh again we're gonna say, okay, does that make sense? We got a net check that went out 3572. He earned 4583. We took from him the 101063. So basically payroll's gonna go up by that. He's only checked is gonna be for that amount and the liability is gonna be that. Is that what we have here? I think so. Let's save and add another and do the same for Erica. Let's say Erica Smith. And this is also happening on uh, Jan, not June, Jan 31st. And we're going to say that this is just going to be payroll quantity one amount here for her is going to be 2,400 2,400 wages. And the other side, I'm doing this fast because we're running long on time here. One. And we're gonna say the other side's going to uh, 54360, 543.60, payroll, federal payroll liability. And then the difference is going to the, uh, the paycheck, which is going to be the 2294, something is not right here, okay? So, yeah, this needs to be negative, negative, negative. Okay, so there we have it. So now we're at, that looks good. So that looks good. So let's save that. I'm going to save it and then we'll check out our financials, balance sheet, update. We should have a decrease to the checking account uh, for, the, for those amounts. And then the other side is going to go into we had the well, let's go to the payroll expense update the income statement we've got wages so there's the two amounts that went into the wages for a total of the 698333 so that totals the amount here that looks good and then we had liabilities if i go back to my balance sheet federal liabilities that totals up to these two here or here the one five uh i have to add this one the one five five four twenty three there and there and then i just need to do a journal entry for our portion of the payroll liabilities and then we'll be tied out so let's go back on over and do one more por favor and so i'm going to go to uh you have to go to the reports here so we'll go into the accounting reports and i'll do this with a journal we'll say journal report and then i'm going to say we want to add a new journal and the new journal is going to be uh, payroll tax the date is going to be jan 31st and we're not going to auto reverse it 
no tax. We're going to say description payroll. And then the account is going to be uh, payroll tax, payroll tax, not the payroll, but payroll tax expense now. And that's going to be for the amount of our portion, which was the 47423. So let's say 474.23. And then the other side is going to go to payroll, federal payroll liability again. And there it is. So this is our tax portion. I think that's good. Let's post it. We recommend you only, okay, whatever. Balance sheet, let's update it. No effect on cash that time, but now the payroll liability is at the 202846, which should match out the their portion of the payroll taxes, which is this plus the employer portion, 202846. And then we have on the income statement, we've got the, oh, I have to update it got to work on up-to-dated stuff we got the wages and then we've got the payroll expenses notice the payroll expenses only include our portion of the payroll tax expenses I mean only include the employer portion why don't they include the employee portion of payroll taxes because they aren't in theory our taxes they are the taxes of the employee which we are just being used uh, as the as the poor pathetic tax collector the government is forcing us to to collect on their behalf so that means that their payroll taxes are being expensed but they're in the form of gross wages that often confuses people so there we have it so let's let's open up a trial balance and see where we stand at this point in time because we're running long on time here we're going to go into the accounting reports and type in trial balance trial balance and let's do the range change up top hitting the custom range 2023 end of the year update it so if your numbers tie out to these numbers great if not then uh then try to change the range and see if it's a date range issue you would think the accounts impacted from the last uh, time we checked our numbers last presentation would be the checking account that we changed we changed the uh, liability account here for the payroll liability and we changed some income statement accounts including the wages and the payroll tax expense